fish and chips. The, the chips are good. I'm gonna taste the fish. And what did you put on your your chips? Salt and vinegar, loaf, and tartar sauce and lemon. It's my first time having fish and chips. Oh, it's pretty good. What's in there? Mushy peas. <laughs> Mushy. Uh, how is it? No flavor, but good. Go. Oh, it's so good. Almost. One time in high school, <clears throat> I was a cheerleader. This guy touched my butt under my skirt and I spit on him and he smacked me. Hmm. And I got suspended. You got suspended? I did. Even though you said the whole story? And yeah, I spit on him though and that's like a crime, I think. Oh. Well, that's lame. It is. You moving off of experience and then you moving off no, of a no, very feminine based mind. Like, no, no, this just, isn't feminine. Mm, this is extremely like masculine. What part do you think of my mindset is feminine? All of it. What part? You got to name one. You're you're moving. You're moving as if we're just sexual beings. No know? one said that like a, a woman is just sexual beings. I've said it on a podcast, I think, three times. When a woman meets a man, she has to add value to the man outside to retain that man. So does a man. Well, the man was already adding value outside because that's how he. Right. Gotcha. Right. That makes sense. Right. <laughs> You might need to be a bit smarter than that. <laughs> a black woman <laughs> doing that in a while. I respect so. that. No, no shame. Just like watching you break it down. Yeah, we were in the ho like the hotel gym. Like it was like ten o'clock at night. I don't know why he was in there, but him and his wife just came and watched Check the you out. thirty minute rehearsal. The wife was watching too. She turned her back and just turned around and was kind of like, she's like, let him watch. And that also recently, obviously, she talking about when the old dude was sitting there watching her rehearsal. That was funny as hell. Dude, the dude was like, "Man, bro, I, I'm old. I don't care no more. I might as well look at a baby." Shoot, most viral thing that I've seen is that dude who spent Lamar. Lam is that his name? Oh, it's we're my, oh we're buddy. getting way. I mean, <laughs> we're getting all the way into that. Do you want to get into that right off the bat? I say we dive into it. This guy spends thirty thousand, sixty thousand no, no. dollars a month on your OnlyFans. Wow. Hold on, let me let me intro some fucking context here. Okay, this is a very big story. I want to make sure there's some justice given. Right, right. Okay, there was this announcement or this like this like story that broke on Twitter a couple weeks ago, right? A few weeks ago, that this crypto whale had been outed for spending, I think it was $63,000. Like 62, yeah. $62,000 in a month on Ruby's OF. Obviously a story like that breaks. Everybody's talking about it. commentary, Twitter, podcast communities, so on and so forth. There is a picture of you guys together. I ran into him at my hotel at the Mondrian on Sunset. What And what was that like? Um, it was like now, like that. I think about it. I'm like, was it a run in? No, no, no. Or was it maybe he like knew I was there, but I don't know. People like, nah, buddy, like he definitely knew. Ain't no way, no, y'all just show up. Buddy knew he knew exactly what she was gonna be at. He was trying to get meter. You hear me? But, bro, you pay 60,000 for him. Bro, he could have went and got a chick better than her that wasn't known and been getting cheeks and all. That wasn't known that looked better than her. You hear me? I'm like, bro, why would you pay six dollars? Bro, you rich. Do you understand you can go find a stripper and a stripper that you can take home for not even half that that looks like her? It's let's keep looking. Like I should be scared of him, but he's actually like a really nice friendly guy and he spent more, so he's like Oh, okay. Well, so it gets deeper, Logan. I don't even know if you know this or not. Now now there's so there's a, a bunch of ways we could talk about this people spending that amount of money on girls on of on, on videos whatever this dude's gone on shows recently and said he, he said the following on one of the shows i didn't purchase none of her OnlyFans content 
I got the situation where I just went and took a picture that of movies, right? I got paid for it. I didn't know exactly what it was true. for. You I think it was like a that. promo thing. Her team hit me up, whatever the fuck it was. I met up with her, I take the picture the next day. I'm like the OnlyFans top spender. I know there was some kind of thing where it had to do with OnlyFans top spender shit, but I don't know what the fuck was going on. It was made up to look like I was her top spender. Okay, so this is my response. Like this is as of today. Like, so this is in the past two months, so. And he has a tattoo of me on his on his. Oh my god! So. Hundred and five thousand dollars. Crypto yeah. whale looking for a queen. He got a, a tattoo of her on his. I'm trying to think like in his head. Why spend so much money on her? Like, what are you trying to get out of this? So it definitely has to be a mental condition because I'm thinking to myself like, you think she's gonna be a wife? Like, what do you think? What, what, you just wasting money, bro, to whack off. You're not even getting no cheeks. At least if you're spending that money, get some cheeks, bro. Like, what are you doing, my guy? This is simping on the whole nother level. Bro, you know how much money that is? It's life-changing money. And then you got to realize she's a, 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 what we call in Alabama, a skeezer. She's a rich skeezer. You hear me? You see, like, people, like, let's, like, because I, I would compare her, like, let's say on my level, right? You know the neighborhood thought, right? She probably, she's super bad. Everybody want to hit her. You hear me? Because she bad. But nobody don't want to be seen in public with her. Like, you don't want to be holding your hand in public with her. You're going to be embarrassed. That's what she is on her level. Like French Montana. We heard some with French Montana, right? Now, we saw them together. One time, she was posting all on her page, oh, when you with a mogul and all this. Man, French Montella, out of there. First night, boom. On, that, on her level, nobody want to be seen with no... You see how DDG did her? DDG literally made her, like, told her, encouraged her to start the OnlyFans when he was with her. And then he went and got with a modest good girl, Haley. Haley, uh... What's her name? Uh, Haley, uh... The Haley girl, but she a good girl. You feel me? You see what he 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 literally encouraged her to do it. Like you go do your OnlyFans, but he went and got a good girl. That could that those are the guys people settle for. They like she's like a toy. Like at that level, she's a toy. You go have fun with it, you play action figure, you go play with it, and I'm finna go get with a Haley. You hear me? You don't pay money like that on this. This is a skeezer activity. Skeezer, bro. And like, she calls herself that. She goes and put that on. I mean, come on, bro. You gonna be his queen? We're gonna be friends. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna keep it as friends. Wait, so, so wait, so I don't get this because this dude goes on these shows to try to, to, I don't know if maybe this part of it was for content. I don't know. I've seen like a few, a few interviews and some of it, like he like tries to like deny it, and then some he like admits to it. So it's like, I don't know. He's how do just... you, how do you deny it? Brother, you have a tattoo of her on your leg. You're denying being the number one spender and your Instagram is one of one spender. <laughs> the shirt. How is that it was possible, just... bro? The texts are the most shocking part to me. That's why I'm actually surprised you let him in your vicinity. It feels, I mean, we just had Chris Hansen on our show, but it feels like a little like predatory. It's weird. He's well, like, he it's, he's like having a hotel. fantasy with himself in mm, your threat. I don't know. Like, honestly, like not to toot my horn. Toot that shit. But like, you know, guys, guys like me oh, a yeah, lot. They do. Yeah, they do. <laughs> Simps like her. Tell me what guy that got some real motion on that level want to be with Ruby Rose. No, real motion. I'm talking about the big guys. I'm talking about the 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 the, the real rappers who literally going out and trying to wife Ruby Rose. I know she's cute and all that, but it's a lot of cute girls. But we we didn't been that. We did that already. We've been smashing cute girls. Who's smashing cute girls broke? I'll smash the girls look like that. Ain't got no money. I'm telling you that right now. We've been doing that. So all that cute stuff that's out the window. Tell me, I'm not even famous, and I wouldn't. I'm not even famous, I wouldn't wife Ruby Rose. I'm not even famous. And I ain't got nearly as much money as her. 
If anything, I don't, you feel me? I can't say what I want to say, but you feel me? Should be making me money. You feel me? If y'all know what I'm talking about. But this is the behavior because a girl is pretty. Y'all just lose y'all draws, but you don't understand that, bro, when she sent, if you in a relationship with her and she sent you a nude, now you got to think to yourself like, hey, dang, what if she sent that same nude on OnlyFans to a million people? Come on, guys. You got we we got to be better than this, man. We got to be better than this, man. Like you know, <laughs> I give, I post, and like I, I you know, you know, I, it's per, no, it's that's purposeful. Business. Yeah, that's your business. You definitely know what the fuck you're doing. Like you know, viral content, social content. There's actually a tweet here from someone that says, "Your parents are super educated. You went to boarding school in Switzerland and speaks. You speak four languages. Like three. Three languages. This a, ghetto hood rat cosplay shit is just a costume for her. Is that true? That's what this. I'm just reading a tweet. Like, I mean, those things about me in the beginning are true, and like, but like, is it ghetto cosplay? Like, I just be like, you know, everybody has a little persona, internet, urban persona. So I think that's just. Well, you know, how much of it's true? Like, do you really want someone to go pop their gun, then come home and pop that cherry? Absolutely. <laughs> see, you see this. This is why this is what I don't like. This pisses me off like royally. This girl is extremely smart. She never grew up in the hood. Her parents work extremely she no three languages. Bro, I don't even know a person that knows three languages. Look how I talk. I went to the hood for I went to the to a hood school for real. You can tell by my language I'm not I didn't I didn't have the best education. I did well for myself. But I, I was in the hood for real. For real. I know females who she's portraying to be for real. Who out there for real. You see what I'm saying? We grew up in that culture. But you out here famous. You grew up in a good household. You don't even understand the struggles of the people in the hood. And you talking about you want to do who's going to pop a gun. You ain't even been around that for real. You've been around little TJ. You ain't, you ain't even seen that for real. Yeah, I got family members, cousins who died from that. My cousin in the jail. Both of my... I ain't even gonna talk about it, but I got so many people, my brother. All these people doing time for this stuff. I chose myself to not do that, go that route. But everybody around me, that's why I have so much respect for like... I wouldn't say I have so much respect, but I would say... Like I have disdain for people who act hood and then they go get caught up on some hood stuff and then they go and snitch or whatnot. The reason I have so much disdain for it is because they had a choice. They didn't have to choose that. I felt like the reason I didn't choose it because I knew if I chose it, I'm going to have to be 10 toes down. I know for a fact, I know me. I know if I go down for life, I'm not snitching. That's just me. That's why I didn't cho choose that, right, that route because I wasn't willing to pay that price. So I went the other route. And all these other people that could have went the other route as well. But you got people like her who grew up in a good household. Their mother's educated. She knows three languages. And she out here talking about some pop a gun and pop a coot, whatever she's talking about. And you ain't even been around. You ain't even been around killers for real. Majority of all my friends like that for real. Back there, back, back in the hood. I seen this for real like every day growing up. We in middle school. You got to realize in middle school. We we'll come home from middle school. My, my my homies in middle school up in the kitchen cooking crack. About to sell it to some fiends. She ain't never seen that. She don't understand that. I know girls right now who she trying to portray to be. That was they robbing people right now. Females. Go hop in your car and robbing them. They strippers. They all of that. Been doing that. But she's portraying this life like it's cool. She didn't have to choose that life. I mean, you that's cool you do OnlyFans. That's cool. Do, do that. But don't be up in here portraying a, 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 a gangster life. You want a nigga that's gangster and stuff? Do you know what the, 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 the price these people got to pay? You know, they if they get caught, what, what's going to happen? If they go to jail, look at Young Thug and all these people. It's cool when you're rapping about it, but when you're on trial, it ain't so cool now. It ain't cool now. You feel what I'm saying? But this right here, it, it, it bothers me so bad because you don't have to be that. You feel me? If you're freaking out, be a freak. But don't come up in here with that gangster stuff. Don't do that. And don't put, like, pop a gun and pop... What? Come on, bro. Well, I'm listening to a little bit. I'm going to get out of here. Absolutely.
Okay. I'm glad you know that song. You know my Yo, song. You know I know that shit, Ruby. Dude, me and Ruby have We've known each other for a long time. Out. Out. That's for, shocking. For sure. How was for it sure. when you were hanging out with Mike? It was fun. It was crazy. Like, well, was it Coachella? Where was it? That too, but also we hung out in New York one night with Kentucky. We you had a club. show. We went to the strip club. You performed at the strip because she'll, she'll like perform her shows like at a strip club. And, so she'll like and throw that shit. I be throwing that facts. shit. Facts. That's crazy. <laughs> you, you have a fun life. You have a fucking fun life. We boy have fun lives. Yeah. Yeah, they're fun. Travel the world. I don't shake my ass as much as you. Maybe. All right, man. I'm gonna end it right there, man. But. Hey, see you guys next video, man. Hey, wait, let me cut this off. Let's get it.